20 most stunning roads in the world. You drive and walk through roads every day and might not think much of it, but we're about to show some of the most majestic and unique roads in the world, whether they be high up in mountains, just below the water surface, or a travel route for solitude and wonders. 20. The Stelvio Pass The highest paved mountain pass part of the Eastern Alps can be found in the mountains of northern Italy, rising to an elevation of 9,045 feet or 2,757 meters high. The road serves as a connection between the town of Moran to Valtellina and the mid Renosta Valley. The Stelvio Pass ranks as the second highest paved mountain pass in the Alps. At the end of August or beginning of September, the administration of the Stelvio National Park hosts Stelvio Bike Day, where all the roads get close to traffic, aside from bike riders. About 12,000 cyclists take part in this event every year. British series Top Gear picked the pass as the greatest driving road in the world. 19. Monumental Axis Central Avenue This avenue in Brasilia, Brazil, starts in front of the building for the National Congress of Brazil. The primary section of the Monumental Axis has been named Ministries Esplanade since ministry buildings surround the road, such as many monuments and government buildings. The Guinness Book of World Records lists it as the road with the widest central reservation of a dual carriageway in the world. You'll find all sorts of notable tourist sites along the Monumental Axis, such as the Television Tower and the Cathedral of Brasilia. 18. The Guoliang Tunnel You know a tunnel's cool when it gets named after a historical rebel. The Guoliang Tunnel can be found both along and right through the Taihang Mountains in the Henan province of China, connecting it to the village of Guoliang. Before the presence of the tunnel, the village remained rather remote and removed from the rest of civilization. The plans to construct the tunnel began in 1972, villagers being the ones to fund the project. The villagers were said to have sold necessities such as livestock to be able to gather up enough money. The tunnel opened by 1977. 17. The Hana Highway One of the most popular tourist attractions in Maui is the Hana Highway, a 64.4 mile or 103.6 kilometer long road along Hawaii Route 36 and 360. Sites such as waterfalls and other scenic marvels can be found along this road that connects the town of Hana in East Maui to Kahului. You'll even find the Wailua Falls along here, not far from the seven sacred pools. Do beware of the one-lane bridges and sharp turns, and be careful to not get too caught up in the scenery. Though it leads to the town of Hana, most consider this road to be the attraction itself. 16. The Magic Roundabout England is known for its roundabouts, with one of the most famous of them called the Magic Roundabout. Not to be confused with the old 60s and 70s children's television show of the same name, though the roundabout does get its name from the show. The Magic Roundabout can be found in Swindon, England, made up of five smaller roundabouts all around a six central counterclockwise roundabout. That seems a lot to take account of, so much so that the Britannia Rescue named it the fourth scariest junction in Britain back in 2009. 15. The Cherohala Skyway When you combine the names of Cherokee and Nantahala together, you get the nomenclature of the National Scenic Byway known as the Cherohala Skyway. This byway stretches about 43 miles or 69 kilometers long, connecting Teleco Plains in Tennessee to Robbinsville, North Carolina. Plans for the Cherohala Skyway started in 1958 and would be completed much later in 1996, costing around $100 million. It goes through the Unicoi Mountains and is famous for the intensely colored foliage and mountain views. 14. Canton Avenue In Pittsburgh's Beachview neighborhood sits one of the steepest streets in the world, and certainly the steepest street in the United States. Canton Avenue rivals that of Baldwin Street in New Zealand for its grade of 35%, though many say that Canton has a grade of 37%, which would make it the steepest public street. But many argue that Baldwin Street goes on for much longer, with a length of 1,150 feet or 350 meters, compared to Canton Avenue's 630 feet or 192 meters. As a challenge, cyclists continuously try to bike up the steep hill, with most people not making it on the first cycle up. 13. The High Five Interchange This Series 5 level stack interchange in Dallas, Texas cost $261 million and was made to replace the old partial cloverleaf interchange that had been in place since the 60s. The High Five Interchange counts as one of the first five level stack interchanges in the city, joining together the Lyndon B. Johnson Freeway and the Central Expressway. It was awarded the Public Works Project of the Year in 2006 by the American Public Works Association. The bridge decks measure to 2.3 million square feet, taking place between 2002 to 2005.
12, James Dalton Highway. This 400-mile drive is considered one of the loneliest roads in the United States, though that's precisely the allure of the James Dalton Highway. The whole drive takes about three days. And as much solitude as you'll be immersed in while traversing Alaska's Dalton Highway, you need to also be an incredibly skilled driver to do so. One would come across obstacles such as rain, snow, bears, potholes, and thick fog. And not to mention, you'd need to have a rather durable vehicle so that it could last three days, since help would be a far cry should you get a flat tire or run out of gas. It used to be known as the North Slope Hall Road, but was named after the Alaskan engineer James Dalton. 11. Lombard Street San Francisco consists of many hills, with one of the most famous roads, Lombard Street, sitting on a hill with a 27% grade. The famous part of the road you see in this photo clearly zigs and zags, even given the title of the crookedest street in the world, and can be found in the eastern section of San Francisco's Russian Hill neighborhood. The block measures out to be 600 feet or 180 meters long and only goes one way, downhill. It had to be made into a crooked path since most cars would not be able to handle the steepness of the hill. 10. The Atlantic Ocean Road Also known as the Road in the Ocean, this paved road and bridge runs through the islands found in the Norwegian Sea. It measures about 5.2 miles or 8.3 kilometers long and is built through a few small islands and skerries. The planning for this route goes as far back as the start of the 20th century, although the road you see before you did not start construction until the 80s, having been completed by 1989. The Atlantic Ocean Road came out to be the ninth most visited tourist attraction and was called the Norwegian Construction of the Century. 9. The Great Ocean Road Australia's Great Ocean Road was built by soldiers during the years between 1919 all the way to 1932. It stretches over 151 miles or 243 kilometers through the southeastern coast of Victoria, Australia. So this is the sort of views you'd see if you drove on the road. You'd be able to see the Twelve Apostles, one of the main attractions in the Victoria region. The highway opened in 1932 and is home to the Great Ocean Road Marathon that started in 2005. A year before that, the Great Ocean Walk opened a trail nearby where you could walk should you get tired of driving. 8. The Seven Mile Bridge Along the water of the Florida Keys, you'll find the Seven Mile Bridge. The bridge connects Knight's Keys to Little Duck Keys, constructed back in 1909 and completed in 1912. It measures 6.8 miles or 10,887.5 meters long, so just nearly 7 miles. The bridge crosses the Moser Channel in the Keys. There's actually two bridges, one exclusively for pedestrians or those on bikes, and the other expressly for vehicles. 7. Hardong La Pass This mountain pass can be found through the Ladakh region of India. The elevation of the mountain pass stands at 17,582 feet or 5,359 meters high. It is not the highest motorable pass in the world, despite what all the tourist souvenirs say that you can buy here. Hardong La is located along the caravan route that leads into Central Asia, a historically significant path where 10,000 camels and horses used to travel through every year centuries ago. 6. Capulin Volcano Road This road winds around the Capulin Volcano, part of the National Monument of the same name, located in northeastern New Mexico in the United States. The paved road is open to visitors who want to drive all the way to the parking lot at the rim of the volcano. It has an area of 993 acres and an elevation of 8,182 feet, or 2,494 meters high. The last time the volcano erupted was set to be between 58,000 to 62,000 years ago. 5. The July 9 Avenue Also known in Spanish as Avenida Nueva de Julio, this beautiful road can be found in the capital city of Buenos Aires, Argentina, and is the widest avenue in the entire world. The name comes from the date of Argentina's Independence Day. The road consists of seven lanes, not just in total, but seven lanes that go in each direction. It runs about 0.62 miles or one kilometer west of the Rio de la Plata. Plans went as far back as 1888, though construction didn't start until decades later in 1935. 4. The China-Pakistan Friendship Highway Also known more commonly as Karakoram Highway or the National Highway 35, this highway runs through China and Pakistan, starting in the Punjab province of Pakistan, turning into the, nas turning into the China National Highway when it crosses past. It is a length of 800 miles or 1,300 kilometers. It has been around since 1966, though it was not completed until 1779 and only opened to the public in 1986. It ranks as one of the highest paved roads in the world and proves a popular tourist attraction. 3. Route 1 This road connects all the inhabited parts of Iceland to each other, with a length of 828 miles or 1,332 kilometers. Most of the highway only has two lanes and has a speed limit of 55 miles per hour or 90 kilometers per hour. It takes a week to drive through the entire route during the summer, but being in Iceland, it would take two weeks to drive through during the wintertime. 2. Le Passage du Gua 
This road in France periodically becomes flooded, often being called the Disappearing Road. Le Passage du Bois leads to the island of Noirmoutier, France, to the Beauvoir sur Mer. Twice a day, the passage gets flooded with water. During the Tour de France in 1999, the passage was used as part of the route, proving to be a treacherous obstacle for the race. It spans a length of 4.125 kilometers long. In case anyone gets stuck in the water, rescue towers line the route. 1. The North Yungas Road Eerily called the Road of Fate, this road located in the Yungas region of Bolivia spans 35 miles or 56 kilometers from La Paz to Coroico. It's mostly a single-lane road that has very little guardrails, which just doesn't seem safe being up 2,000 feet or 60 meters. And while it proves extremely dangerous, that aspect of the Yungas Road was also what made it so popular, most especially drawing in tourists during the 90s. 